welcome back to Red Glasses Talks. We are focused on, for a number of weeks, the whole subject of gratitude. Today, we're going to look at an attitude of gratitude. So the first question I want to, want to uh, talk about is, what is an attitude? And one of my favorite writers says this, the dictionary on my desk define attitude as a manner of acting, feeling, or thinking that shows one's disposition, opinion, mental set. That means that how we think determines how we respond to others. Let me repeat that. This is really important. That means that how we think determines how we respond to others. As a matter of fact, I've found that my view of others is a direct reflection of my own mental set. Then he goes on to say, our attitude toward the world around us depends upon what we are ourselves. If we are selfish, we will be suspicious of others. Are you like that? If we are of a generous nature, we will be likely to be more trustful. If we are quite honest with ourselves, we won't always be anticipating deceit in others. If we are inclined to be fair, we won't feel that we are being cheated. In a sense, looking at the people around you is like looking in a mirror. You see a reflection of yourself. And so uh, one, of the, one of the traits of Jesus, I think, was this, was this uh, attitude of gratitude. Maybe we'd, we would see it differently as we read through the Gospels. But there uh, are a lot of characteristic Christ-like attitudes mentioned in the Bible, like uh, love, uh, patience, grace, etc. But Jesus never, this is very interesting, never called attention to himself and his attitudes. Only one time. And if you look in Matthew chapter number 11, 28 through 30, this is what Jesus said. Then Jesus said, Come to me, all of you who are weary and carry heavy burdens, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you. Let me teach you, because I am humble and gentle, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke fits perfectly, and the burden I give you is light. So he says, I come as a person who is gentle and humble in heart. And when it says heart, it's talking about the inward disposition of Jesus or of a, of a person. Unselfish. That's what he's saying he is in other terms. <clears throat> so let me give you a couple quotes here that I've put down that uh, I want you to think about. I believe, this is what I believe, what often keeps us from exhibiting an attitude of gratitude is that we are selfish. Then from that I concluded, a selfish person is often an ugly person. Grateful people are a delight to be around, and their presence literally is powerful. It is simply not possible to simultaneously be grateful and be selfish. Here's a thought. Greece said, be wise, know yourself. Rome said, be strong, discipline yourself. Religion said, be good, conform yourself. Epicureanism said, be sensuous, satisfy yourself. Education said, be resourceful, expand yourself. Psychology said, be confident, assert yourself. Materialism said, be possessive, pleasure yourself. Asceticism said, be lowly, suppress yourself. Humanism says, be capable, believe in yourself. Pride says, be superior, promote yourself. Jesus said, be unselfish, humble yourself. An unselfish person will be a humble person, and that person will be a person full of gratitude. You think about that.